Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute. It's been a long time since I've picked up this camera. Um, I've just been so busy. Anyways, I don't want to give you guys a ton of excuses. The truth is I've just been busy, but hopefully I'm going to get right back on track and film some videos for you guys. But today I'm going to just take you guys along my day. It's Wednesday and the kids are, well, Ethan's doing virtual learning and I'm with the girls. So right now I'm getting the kids breakfast ready and I also have to pack some orders later on. Oh, she wants down. So yeah, but that's what we're doing today. There's not a lot going on. Let's just see where the day takes us. So I just served the kids a breakfast. I made scrambled eggs and I just cut up a watermelon for Eloise, but the kids, uh, they just eat their own watermelon like this. So that's what they're having for breakfast. Hey guys, so I just sat down for a few minutes. The kids are having breakfast. Actually, no, Ethan just finished breakfast and he is cleaning up the mess that they made already in the playroom. I went through all of their toys the other day, you guys. It was like one of those moments where you don't even think about picking up a camera. You don't think about, am I, you know, you don't get attached to things. You're just thinking about getting rid of things. And um, it was so good for me i think for us because their playroom was getting out of hand it was so bad we lack a lot of storage in this house that's one thing i really don't like about this house is the lack of storage like i th yeah we only have one closet one coat closet and then the kids have their closets and then we have a shed outside but that shed i mean it's not the best we want to purchase another shed and we we will the problem is um it's just a lot of work for my husband right now to like make a foundation for it so he's been stalling on that that's his problem but we need a shed um we don't have storage for anything so and my house is not that big you guys have seen it it's not huge we definitely know that we are outgrowing this house quick i know i'm gonna get asked if we're gonna be moving anytime soon we want to um but we're just we're holding on we're waiting till we you know feel like it's our timing but yes definitely gonna be moving soon ish but right now we're not like rushing it but we just know that we can't stay here forever not much longer because we are outgrowing this house so quick but anyways their playroom was getting out of hand it was just it was insane we had to get rid of almost all their toys like everything they had from last year and you know way down uh, i threw out i just threw it out and i know that sounds very wasteful you guys i promise you a lot of things were missing pieces none of those things were in condition that you would gift these to people or donate them because i don't want to give a kid a half butt toy like i you know if i'm going to give you something i want to make sure all the parts are there all the characters are included but like he had all of his Paw Patrol toys and they were missing pieces. Some things were broken. Um, some of Amelia's dolls had no arms or legs. It was just like ridiculous. Like there was no reason for me to be keeping these things. And I had completely just abandoned the playroom because I just didn't even want to go near it. Plus my husband rides bikes uh, professionally. Like, I mean, he's not a professional, but he likes cycling. Uh, and he practices that as a sport so he has his bikes there because he refuses to leave them leave them out in the shed because they're very um they're expensive bikes and if they get wet or they get moldy or if someone well we've never had any criminal issues here like no crime happened in our neighborhood we live in a pretty good neighborhood but you never know um he's afraid that they can steal them just it it's too risky for him so we have to keep those indoors which is very very annoying for me that's why we need a brand new shed where we can put a lock and it's like good quality and it's not like falling apart anyways i'm going on a rant here so we got rid of so much stuff i'll show you guys the playroom in a little bit but i it's just been it's been a huge relief lifted off my shoulders because it was really giving me so much stress and anxiety just seeing that mess every single day not being able to like have my home the way i want it to be and now with ethan's virtual learning it's so hard you know a lot of people have asked me if i'm going to be decorating for fall and halloween and yes and no but i haven't like prioritized it you know i am so busy with my kids that right now filming a fall decorate with me it's just i have no time for that i really don't like 
I am so focused on their education and on being home with them because they can't, you know, during the week, we can't even go out because he's on a schedule. So it's not like, you know, I can just be like, go to your room, watch some TV while I decorate or something. It doesn't work that way. So yes, I want to decorate. Actually, I'm hoping to get the boxes out sometime today or tomorrow. And maybe do a quick little decorating video, but nothing crazy. You guys know that I... You guys know I don't really focus a lot on videos like that, but I have had requests. The one thing I am excited to decorate for Halloween is my entryway, and I'm also excited to decorate for fall my front porch, like where my door's at. So that those are the only things I'm going to do, and I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby today to get a few things. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I know I went on a little rant today because I feel like I had to talk to you guys. It's been such a long time since I've filmed a video and sat down and talked to you. Um, I also wanted to mention, because I know I am the type of person that doesn't really like watching videos like these too much. But I thought I would just throw it out there. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be posting videos as much as I can, I promise. But you guys may see some sponsored content. It just kind of piles on. But I promise you guys, it's not like that all the time. I've just been very fortunate enough to have been offered some amazing opportunities that I just, you know, couldn't turn down. And it, they just happened to all happen at once. So just keep that in mind. Don't come for me. I know that the last few posts were sponsored videos so you may see another or two in the next few days or weeks but yeah just know that that's not my normal you guys know i don't i don't really work with a lot of brands but opportunities came and yo i need to i need to feed my kids so <laughs> anyways today's video is not sponsored i just want to throw it out there because i don't want you guys to think that i'm only going to post videos because they're sponsored because I'm not. I've just been so focused on my shop and on Ethan's schooling and being home. But I'm hoping to at least start filming once or twice a week for you guys and just get back on track. So Ethan's about to start his class soon. He had a break, which is why he was able to have breakfast really quick. I'm going to diffuse some oils for him. I've been loving my Revive oils. You guys know I completely just cut myself out of Young Living and MLMs and all of that. So I like to support Revive. They're not an MLM. They are all natural, 100% therapeutic oils. Anyways, I'm going to link their website down below if you guys want to check them out and order from them. Just read more into it. They have uh, basically proof that they are natural. If anyone here is from Young Living and wants to come for me and say that Revive is not good it's just not true um just do your research anyways um i'm gonna start diffusing something for ethan while amelia stays in the playroom i'm going to be diffusing brain time for ethan uh, i really like this one and i actually love all of the ones i have so i'm using this diffuser it's from target it is so pretty i'm gonna show you guys how it looks on it's so so cute So I'm getting the kids lunch ready, but that's for a whole another video because I'm doing a what my I'm doing a what I pack my kids for lunch video. I thought I would give you guys a little sneak peek, but be on the lookout for that video next week. Um, and it's Halloween themed too. So I'm sitting here with Eloise and Emilia. Say hi. <laughs> and Ethan. And right now we're just hanging out. Ethan has a class, his last, yeah, his final class in an hour. So we just had lunch. They just had lunch. And Eloise was actually eating some clementines that I had cut up for her. But she's actually getting ready for a nap soon. She's going to be tired in like a few minutes. She's already <laughs> been rubbing her eyes. But she's, she loves yeah. to eat. You love to eat, right, Mama? Right. 
Um, so yeah, right now we're just hanging out and then once she goes out for a nap, I can actually get some orders out and just pack a few things I need to pack and get ready for Friday's drop. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm dropping on Friday and all of that. So yeah, once I get her down for a nap, she usually naps for like an hour and a half. I can get some work done. So right now I just put Eloise down for a nap and now I am working on Friday's drop, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. And one of my favorite things to do now when I sit down to work is watch some of This Is Us. It's my favorite TV show at the moment. I know it's an older show and I think I tried watching it last year and I just didn't really get into it, but now I'm like into it. It's so good. So I like binge watch that while I make bows and it's it's like a nice relaxing time. Excuse the noise. Emilia's playing in the playroom and Nathan is finishing up his last class. He has math class. But the good thing is that I can overhear everything so I know what they're saying. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys Friday's drop really quick right now. And I'll show you what I'm packing. So Friday's drop is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pigtails. So I'm offering solid colors right now. And then I have this really cute floral color as well, or floral print. So I will only be offering pigtails for Friday because I'm still waiting on a ton of fabric to get to me. But I'll also show you last week's drop because it was so good and I still have a ton available for sale. You guys know you could always use the code the Buena Bunch to save 10% off. But I did release, I did drop these really cute head wraps. Let me see. I'm gonna try to show you guys better. But look how cute this print is so here are the head wraps it's this really cute retro floral but these are adorable you guys should totally get them if you have little girls and this is your style there are still a few up for grabs if you guys are interested um you guys know my link is always in the description box so go and check it out but i actually just finished making a ton of these disney bows which i'm going to start packing up now uh these were custom orders they were never up on my shop you follow me on instagram which you should because that's where i show everything and i'm very active on there then you guys would know that these were custom orders i had only a little bit of this fabric left and whoever sent me a message first i made a listing for them and they bought it so yeah but yeah this is what's coming on friday and this is what dropped last week that i still have a few left of and right now i'm just gonna pack up a few orders Sebastian got home and he's so sweet. He started dinner. I was working on a few orders so he started dinner for me and I'm just making my famous, it's not my famous, but we really like it here. It's the cream of, cream of chicken that I make and he learned how to make it thanks to me. So, so that's what we're making right now with some rice and 
and a salad. So that's what we're making for dinner. And then after this, we're gonna be taking the kids to get some donuts at Krispy Kreme and we have to stop at Lowe's really quick and I will bring you guys along with me. I know I got really busy doing the whole bow thing. But yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner before we head out and then do and, and then run those errands really quick. One. Who's that? Ariel. Ariel. <laughs> so right now we are on our way to just get some donuts. We also have to stop at Lowe's like I said earlier. And we have to get gas, things like that. So we're gonna go run those errands really quickly. I was hoping to make it to Hobby Lobby today, but instead Sebastian's gonna watch the kids tomorrow so I can go really quick after he's off of work. So that's what we're doing now. And then we're gonna go home, put the kids down. I'm gonna get, take a shower, go to bed, all that good stuff. So yeah, you wanna, want me to play with you? But I'm all the way up front. How am I gonna play with you? Can we play at home later? I love you. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours. The kids are finally asleep. I'm gonna sit down and get some work done. Sebastian's getting some work done. And I'm just gonna call it a night because after this I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then go to bed. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, and I promise I'm gonna try and film more videos and get back into my routine and just put out more content for you guys. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.